Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wogi, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. I'm recording this video three times because I keep confusing layouts with loadouts. Today's video is going to be going over the version update, uh, giving my thoughts, opinions, and all that other good stuff about it. As always, you can leave a like, comment, and subscribe. So let's get into the video. Okay, thank God. Third time intro. <laughs> let's go. On 426 is when the version update will become available, and on 427 is when I will be forced for everyone. You can't match co-op with someone with a different version number as you, and of course, everyone's going to get a 10, uh, tenfold summon voucher. Alright, let's go. See what loadouts work best with suggested teams. Suggested teams are features that will allow players to browse and copy team loadouts that others have used to successfully clear certain quests will be added. Data on the teams that were used to clear these quests will be recorded and the top performers will be made available for everyone's reference. To see the top teams for an eligible quest listed below, simply tap on the suggested teams buttons on the quest selection screen. Levels, unbinds, and mana circle progress are shown at their highest values while stat boosts from abilities, augments, facilities, and encyclopedia bonuses are not taken into account. If you'd like to take one of the suggested teams for a spin, you can easily register it as one of your own. When copying a suggested team's loadout, if you do not have an adventure, dragon, or worm print, or sufficient copies to match that of the suggested team, then that slot on your team will remain empty. If you do not, I don't know, this is helping me read, but I sure hope you're enjoying it. If you do not have any of the four adventurers on the suggested team, then the first slot on your team will be filled with the prince, filled by the prince. If you do not have a weapon or sufficient copies to match that of the suggested team, then that slot on your team will be filled with a battle worn, battle worn version of the cor corresponding, yeah, corresponding weapon. A battle-worn version of the corresponding weapon? What does that mean? Mm, it's been a while since I've heard of a core of a battle-worn version, but okay. Um, when copying a team's loadout, adventurers, dragons, weapons, and war prints will be copied with their current upgrades, regardless of whether or not these upgrades differ from those displayed in the selected loadout. For example, if suggested team contains an adventurer who is promoted to 5-star, but your version is still 4, and that slot on your team will be filled with the 4 version instead. The rarities, levels, and unbind progress displayed on the team information screen for suggested teams are based on the adventurers, dragons, weapons, and worm prints in your collection. The suggested team feature may be used in the following quests in Solo Play, Advanced Dragon Trials, Standard Expert Master, The Agito Uprising, uh, Standard Expert Master Legend, Murasati Re Reckoning, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I also did not pronounce uh, Agito correctly. <laughs> I'm doing it now. And Lilith's in Crouching Shadow, Standard and Expert. Additional quests will be made available in the future. Okay, got through it without calling loadouts layouts. Perfect. Um, I don't know how... I mean, obviously this is going to be extremely useful for new players. Or if you're a player who is just straight up like... I don't want to look around, which is something I actually do a whole bunch, is that I very rarely actually look around to see what other people are using. I have, a, like, inklings. Like, I know Karina is extremely good, but I, you know, I don't use Karina. Uh, my one thing that I'm kind of curious about this is, hopefully, is that it won't just all be cheese teams <laughs> straight at the top. Because I think that's actually kind of a bummer if all you see is cheese and then you go, oh... So that's how you actually just beat it, is that you just cheese it. And this is the perfect team to cheese with. But I don't know, it could be a very cool thing. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure how often I'll be using it, but maybe for some of the um, uh, some of the Trials of the Mighty. It was one of the Trials of the Mighty was on here, right? Or did it not have Trials of the Mighty? It did not have Trials of the Mighty. Never mind, so I guess I'm just not going to be using it very often. <laughs> I'm already pretty set on Advanced Dragon Trials and Agido and, and, well, actually, maybe some Agido for, you know, I could actually use it because I, of course, still have Legend stuff to do in Agido, even though I have the majority of them done. Um, I don't know. At least gives me an idea of what to build towards, which is nice. 
The thing that's kind of a bummer is that the most important thing is the freaking um, level of your encyclopedia, which can help a whole bunch. So if your encyclopedia is low and theirs is extremely high, then it can kind of cause a bit of a disparity. But whatever. Should be fine. Anyway. Stretch your stamina farther with reduced cost. The stamina cost of the following quest will be reduced in the data update around... Ooh, 427. Main campaigns, all chapters. Isn't it already free? I guess not. <laughs> I guess it'll be more, but maybe I'm just thinking of doing it the, the first time. Special events, the Void Battles, Trials of the Mighty. Raid events, good, because I was about to say Trials of the Mighty is freaking expensive right now. Uh, raid events, facility events, limited time events such as the Onslaught events and defensive events, time attack challenges including Void Battles, Imperial Onslaught, and Advanced Dragon Trials, excluding the quest equivalent of the Agito Uprising, reoccurring events, Avenue to Power, Avenue to Fortune, Elemental Ruins, and Event Compendiums, challenge events, Dragon Trials, the Imperial Onslaught, and Advanced Dragon Trials. Please note that the changes does not affect the amount of stamina recovered from the 30-day pack recovery or from the use of Warmite or Honey, nor does it affect the type, amount, or rate of the drop rewards of the above quest. Good! Um, love to hear it. Uh, stamina is definitely a... a commodity. Is that a commodity the right word? It can be a little bit... Once you're at the higher ranks, it can really be make or break for a lot of people, so lower cost is always good. So glad to hear it. That's what's so good about lower cost days, is that it costs less. So, that means when that eventually comes back around, so however low this is, it will be even lower. Nothing but good stuff. Please note that the chain. Uh, no, I already said that. Other changes. Players will be able to use looking glasses in the treasure trade. What is that? Okay. Cool. On 427, they'll be adding that. The presentation of combo count information in the user's interface will be improved. Speed in which the incrementing number of hits in the combo counter reaches the actual number of hits will be made faster, and a bar that indicates when the combo count will reset will be added to the user. Ooh, good! Because using uh, Hunter Cerise, I never have an idea when her actual combo is going to end, so that'd be, that's nice to have. The user interface will be adjusted in various places. Quality of life improvements, the amount of skip tickets that can be used at once will be increased from 10 to 30. Good. And issues addressed. If a helper skill that grants you an amp is used when the amp is already active and the maximum level of the controlled adventurer, their amp will not be replaced by a team amp and they will be granted this defects. So they're addressing those, that issue. The total damage dealt by adventurer's joker skilled wild rush is displayed in two parts. When an adventurer joker, Mona Panther, or Sophia are granted uh, the drain buff, the attacks of their summon persona are not granted the buff. While playing co-op in Marsadi's uh, Reckoning, when Marsadi uses the Ruination skill, a weak point may appear on guest devices if their connection of the host is interrupted uh, during certain conditions. I've never experienced. Well, that's because I don't play it. When the Meta Circle's display preference uh, setting is set to 2D, a blue border will be displayed around chain co-op ability nodes, even if the player does not have enough Eldwater to actually unlock them. The player may only choose to sort by element and or weapon type in the encyclopedia and not notes. But you can sort by other conditions available in the team, such as abilities, if the sort by them first in the team screens and then opens the encyclopedia. When the adventurer Marf uses the skill Fire Emblem, the adventurer Peony uses the skill Flower of Joy, or the adventurer Shoewing uses the skill Crash Armament, then charges the cancels of Force Strike before the skill connects with the enemy. Skill Chef will not activate. Okay. An exclamation mark appears in weapon crafting when a player has enough items and rupees to unlock copies of a weapon even the copies are locked. So all those issues will be addressed. Which is good. So yeah, that's this version update. Um, pretty... I mean, most of this version update is the loadout. Not the layout. Um, so we'll see how that kind of goes. I think that will hopefully... I really do hope there's some variety to it. If it's just the same team at the top, then it's kind of like, I don't know, it can be a little bit disheartening, right? If you only see, like, the same units at the top. Like, if all you see in the Agudo Twins is, like, a bunch of teams featuring Karina and Tiki, that that's kind of a bummer. Well, it's easy to get Karina, but Tiki is, like, super limited, so there's no way for you to get them. <laughs> and there's no real equivalent to Tiki on water. Um, 
But yeah, that's the day and the end of today's video, everyone, and that's the end of another adventure. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a good day. Peace out.